hi guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to a cook and speed clean so the plan is i'm going to show you some quick and easy soup that i'm making in my soup maker and whilst that is cooking the goal is to tidy all of this because my kitchen is horrendous so if you're interested to see how i do it then just continue to watch it's what I like about you welcome my name is Juliet and I do three videos a week on all sorts and as we are in isolation today I'm going to do two things that I've been putting off all day and that is cook some soup and clean my kitchen so before I have to state the obvious my kitchen is horrendous because to cut a long story short we had a flood just before all this um, virus and everything happened and so we had the insurance come and have a look at it all and so we started work we started taking the tiles off the floor is damaged um, we've got to have new worktops put on and then this all happened so everything has been put to a halt and I hate tidying my kitchen at the best of times but right now I feel like I keep using the phrase it's like polishing a turd <laughs> <laughs> which is kind of how I feel because it's a mess before I've even started it and even when it's clean it's a mess but let's do it so first thing that I'm going to do is just kind of clear off this breakfast bar section so I can get my soup chopped and into my soup maker and so that will cook for 25 minutes which gives me 25 minutes to blitz the kitchen and then hopefully at the end the soup will be made so yeah let's get the ingredients <laughs> Okay, so now that it's clean, I'm just gonna go and grab everything. Okay, so if you don't already know, this is my soup maker. It is by the brand Cuisine Art, and my mother-in-law actually bought me this for um, Christmas. Now, all my soup, all my ingredients are here, washed and ready. Um, and the one thing I do love about this is you don't really have to peel or anything. I'm not gonna put any potatoes in, because I'm trying to keep it as um, low calorie as possible and as full of goodness as possible because I am on a low calorie diet at the moment because aren't we all going a little in isolation so I've got four carrots here I have got four green peppers because I needed using up and three tomatoes an onion and three leeks so I've pretty much got all of the veg out of my fridge that needs to be eaten and I'm going to chop it up all to fit in here and then I'm just going to add some stock and pop that on so let's get chopping we don't wanna wake up yet got my tomatoes and onion but I don't think I'm going to fit them in by the looks of it so I'm just going to leave my onion and the tomatoes and I might put a tin of chopped tomatoes in when this reduces because this will obviously reduce down so I'm going to actually add a liter of stock into this if I can fit it in and the one thing that I always say about soup is I don't think you can add enough seasoning so I actually will put into this size soup probably three vegetable stock cubes and then some other spices. So I'll just pop my three stock cubes in. Now I've put three in, I might even add a fourth because I think there's nothing worse than an under seasoned soup. I love to just add loads of flavor to it. Now the vegetable stock is the only thing that I put in season wise until it is cooked. And the reason I do this is because you don't know what it's gonna taste like until it's cooked. So I prefer to do it this way. So I'm just popping my litre of stock in there. Now, you don't want to put, if you've got a soup maker, you don't want to put this on high because this will boil over. You want to keep it on like a medium heat and put it on for roughly, I would put this on for 25 minutes to 30 minutes. And so just to make sure it's all cooked through, especially the carrots. So where's the lid? It's squidged on. Okay, so I'm going to pop this on for 25 minutes to start on a medium heat and then once it's done I'll show you exactly how this soup mixer works and I've also got to pop some tea in for the boys so I'm going to do that now as well.
today Then I'll make you scramble it Okay, so I'm pretty much done. The soup timer has just gone off. So 25 minutes. I've pretty much blitzed the kitchen. I've still got a mop and hoover in here. But I'm just going to check the soup. So it is bleeped now after the 25 minutes. But it's still going to need quite a bit more because the carrots are still pretty hard. So I'm going to pop it on for another 10 minutes on high now because if you put it on high while it's this full, it will just boil over. So now it is reduced a little. So I'm going to pop it back on for another 15 minutes now on high and just keep an eye on it so it doesn't boil over. Okay, so now it's had a little bit longer. I'm just going to push to, well, twist to blend it up. So that is it now. It is all cooked and I'm just, I've blended it down. I let it blend for like a couple of minutes. Okay, so I've just tried a bit. It's really like thick, which is how I like it. But you can add more stock if you wanted to. But I'm going to add some salt. And because it's very carroty, I think I'm going to put some coriander in. And possibly a bit of crushed chilies just to give it a little kick. I'm just going to add, like I said, a little bit of salt and pepper. A tiny bit of crushed chilies. Not too much because the kids will probably have some. So it's just to give it a little kick and then some Mommy, coriander. Mommy. Not a lot because it's really overpowering coriander is. And then I'm just going to pop this back on just to mix it up. a good six portions out of that which i think is absolutely amazing but yeah i really hope you enjoyed this video i've got actually our tea cooking now as well so yeah 25 minutes a quick soup and speed clean and thank you ever so much for watching if you did like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and i would love for you to subscribe and stick around and if there are any ideas of videos you want please let me know because i am trying to brainstorm as much as i can right now so yeah I hope you're all well. Stay safe. Thank you to any key workers out there as well. And I will speak to you soon. Take care.